Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm a program manager on the Azure Cosmos DB team. Today, I'm very excited to share with you the availability of role-based access control with Azure Active Directory on Azure Cosmos DB. This is a major milestone, probably our most important security update ever, and an important release for those of you who want to connect to the Cosmos DB account with Azure Active Directory. Before we dive in, let's briefly review the methods you can use today to control access to your data. The original access control methods that has been available since our service launched is based on primary keys. These keys are basically shared secrets that give you full access to the data you have stored in your Cosmos DB account. Primary keys don't provide any kind of granularity, although a read-only version is available. A while back, we also introduced resource tokens, which were a first step towards more granular access control. Resource tokens work well in some scenarios, but they also have some caveats that make them harder to use in many situations. So we have listened to our users, as we always do, to understand what should be the next generation of access control on Cosmos DB, and here is what we heard. First, they expect Cosmos DB to integrate natively with Azure Active Directory, and they want to directly use Active Directory identities when connecting to their Cosmos DB account. Some users want to completely get rid of primary keys and use Active Directory exclusively, so this should be an option. Our users also want a very fine-grained permission model to enable scenarios that are just impossible to implement today. You may want to only let your Cosmos DB clients fetch documents by the ID without being able to run a query or read from the change feed. Or maybe you have an IoT app that should only be able to insert new documents but cannot read, replace, or delete documents. And finally, we have heard that better auditing capabilities are desired. It should be possible to retrieve the identity used to perform individual database requests and understand why these requests were authorized. And it is to address these three requirements that we have built this new role-based access control for Cosmos DB. The concepts exposed by this new feature will look very familiar to you if you have ever used Azure RBAC. We have introduced a brand new permission model that exposes a set of actions. Each of these actions map to specific operations you can execute on a Cosmos DB account. As a Cosmos DB user, you can create role definitions by assembling a list of actions that a role should allow. Here, for example, I have created a role that would let me read documents, write documents, and execute queries. Once you have created your role definition, you associated it with the Azure Active Directory identity of your choice through a role assignment. Note that this can be any kind of identity, a user principle, a service principle, a group, and so on. But enough slides, let's now see this new feature in action. To start, I'm going to use a new PowerShell commandlet to create a new role definition on my Cosmos DB account. This role will grant read-only access to my account, so I gave it the name My Read-Only Role. It will allow four different actions, read metadata to let my Cosmos DB SDK initialize, items slash read to be able to read documents, execute query, and read change feed. So let's go ahead and let's create that role definition. Now that my role is created, I need to associate it with the Azure Active Directory identity I will use to connect to my Cosmos DB account. I can do that with another new PowerShell commandlet that will let me create a new role assignment still on the same Cosmos DB account. And I'm going to assign my read-only role that I have just created, and I will assign it to that principal ID. This is the Azure Active Directory identity of an AAD application I have created before, and that I will use when I connect to Cosmos DB. Now, I can use the identity of my AAD application when connecting to my Cosmos DB account. When using the Cosmos DB role-based access control, obviously you don't have to pass any key when initializing your Cosmos DB SDK. Instead, you have to pass a token credential class, which is an AAD concept. This token credential class contains the information required to let my uh, Cosmos DB SDK acquire an AAD token corresponding to my AAD application. In this example, I am only performing three operations against my account. First, I'm going to issue a read item to just fetch one document from my Cosmos DB container. Next, I'm going to run a query, select star from C. And lastly, I will try to write to my database by trying to create a new document. So let's go ahead and see how it works. 
I'm going to set a breakpoint here, launch my sample, and let's try first to read the document. This worked. Let's next try to run my query. This worked as well. And now lastly, let's try to write a new document to my container. This failed, and this was actually expected. If you remember, I created a read-only role that can only read items, run queries, and read from the change feed, but cannot do any kind of write operations against the database. Now, if I want to know which identities were used to access my data, this is a question I can now answer with the Cosmos DB diagnostic logs. By simply querying the data plane requests, I can identify not only the principal ID, which is the Active Directory identity that was used to authenticate those requests, but also the role assignment ID used to authorize the requests.